Okay, this is going to be a review of the Apple TV. Um, I'm going to get into some details about what the Apple TV is and what I mainly use it for. Okay, it's one of my favorite products in the Apple lineup because it's um, because it allows you to watch Netflix and rent movies right from your couch. Okay, I'm not going to pretty much get into the unboxing of it because it's a very, very simple setup. All it comes with is the Apple TV, a power cable, and of course, a remote. Now, I do want to inform you, it doesn't come with the HDMI cable. For the HDMI cable, I'm going to assume that we all are going to be hooking this up to some type of HD TV, and it's already, and they all come pretty much come equipped with, um, with HDMI, okay? As you can see from this video here, that my um, Apple TV is pretty much sitting down here, but I'm going to put it back where it was, which is pretty much hitting away on top of a Blu-ray player that I rarely use given that when I rent movies I rent them straight from my couch using Apple TV instead of using actual hard Blu-ray disc. Um, if I want to rent a movie I just rent it right from iTunes using my Apple TV. So for the video, you know, it's going to be a little dark in here just so you can see the TV pretty clear. Okay right now I'm on a you know a regular channel, a regular local station here Okay, and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to change it to the channel that my HDMI cable is hooked up to. All right, and for me, it's HDMI one. So I change it to HDMI one. Okay. Also for this video, I'm going to be using my iPhone. Okay, um, I have the remote application on the iPhone because you know I can control it easier with the remote and that way I don't have to ever look for the remote to the Apple TV because I always your iPhone is something you always have available you can use an iPhone or an iPad and I can just click the remote app right from my iPhone and power on the Apple TV and get to it okay here's the remote application for my iPhone that controls the Apple TV you can download it free from the App Store okay so I'm gonna just click on the remote here it should look like this okay as you can see I have two I have Apple TV living room Apple TV bedroom you know, Apple TV is so amazing I decided to get one upstairs when I'm watching TV upstairs and one downstairs where we all watch TV together okay alright so we're downstairs so we're just gonna watch Apple TV living room okay and that, that should bring you to this page and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to click on controls okay now as you can see the Apple TV is off to turn it on I just tap here in the center okay now I do want to inform you there's a very simple process setup process that you need to complete when setting up your Apple TV and that's um, the things like setting up your um, your Apple ID and password so that when you are ready to rent movies it's seamless you don't have to enter in the password every time the, uh, the device will remember your password that way all you have to do is click the rent button and um, and go from there you'll be able to watch the movie seamlessly um, just so, just by a click of a button also you want to hook up your Wi-Fi um, and it's the systems auto automatically are going to ask you to set up those things before you move forward so you will set up the Wi-Fi and set up your, um, your Apple ID account to where you can rent movies um, and have it save your password so all you can rent the movies from a click of a button okay so once you get all that set up you should it should bring you to this page and here I'm just gonna hit the menu button and there we go okay now on this video I'm going to go through the apps these are basically apps and these are the apps that I use basically um, the, the most used apps is probably going to be the movies, okay, Netflix, and for me, the NBA application, all right? And then um, what's real cool we're going to talk about also is iTunes Radio, which is new, for, okay? Um, iTunes Radio is real cool. Once you have your um, Apple ID and password set up, iTunes Radio is free. As you can see, you can actually go through some stations there, and you can listen to to radio um, right here on your TV alright got some got some TLC creep alright iTunes radio alright 
So we're going to stop that. All right, you have a play and pause button right here on your, if you have the, the remote application on your iPhone, you can hit play or pause, or you can do it from the remote itself. All right, so um, the next application we're going to talk about, because it's probably going to be the most favorite, because Netflix is, has a you know, $7.99 monthly subscription, and you can watch all the movies you want, right? So let's get into it. Once you open up Netflix, you know, I have a couple different accounts. My son has his own little account with Netflix. He watches on his iPad mini. All right. So, you know, here you can go into um, the, genre, uh, the genre of movies or new releases. All right. Or recently watched or suggestions for you. Anyone who has Netflix knows what that knows what that about. Um, it suggests movies for you based on the movies you watched. So we're just going to click on new releases here. All right. So um, this is the, the new release screen. All right. And basically, all you would have to do is once you find a movie that you're inter interested in for the night, just click on it. OK. Click play. takes a couple seconds here and there you go you know there's your movie all right so that's that's basically Netflix pretty much self self-explanatory all you have to do is click a button and you and you're watching the movie okay so we're gonna hit menu button on my um, on my app here okay then we're gonna take a look at movies all right, so it gives you some suggestions there at the top. Also, um, you can scroll down here. to find a movie that you're interested in or, or a movie you want to watch. Once you find a movie that you want to watch for movie night, or if you just home and it have, it has nothing to do. All right, two guns. Well, right now, as you can see, this movie isn't available for rent. You can purchase it, but it lets you know when the movie will be available for rent. Here, as you can see, November 19th, I'll be able to rent two guns. All right, so let's see what we can rent tonight. All right, White House Down. White House Down is available for rent, for rent. HD, $5.99. All right, so, if you want to rent that movie, you can hit rent and watch now, rent and watch later, or cancel. All right, we're not going to watch that right now, so let's back out of that. And that's pretty much, you know, how you rent a movie, right from your couch. All right. Also, we're going to take a look at another really cool feature that I like about um, the Apple TV. Is as you can see, you have music. Um, you have YouTube, Vivo, if you like to watch music videos. Okay. All right, and we're going to take a look at NBA. All right, let's see today's games. Okay. Okay, Miami is playing the Toronto Raptors. Let's see what's going on in this game. We're going to have them talk on the heat side. All right, so if you have NBA game time or NBA league pass, you'll be able to watch games right here from your Apple TV. All right, so let's get out of that. Another thing I use Apple TV for is AirPlay, okay? So if I was watching a YouTube video, or any video for that matter, um, you'll be able to airplay it right to your Apple TV. All right, so let's see here. Let's see what this guy is talking about. All right, right now, I'm watching the video. You see this little icon right here, the airplay button? What we're going to do here is click that button. And then as you can see, I want to airplay it to living room. 2010. All right, and, and this indicates that it's playing on TV. 
That's how easy you can airplay a YouTube video right to your Apple, right to your HD TV. Citizens didn't okay. only experience incessant gunfire, but also explosions and burning trucks. And so okay. the to stop watching on Apple TV, recession, to stop watching, all you do is click the, mayor was click the airplay button. Speech starting the march. Okay, we want to go back to iPhone. Has been very well engaged by and that's Apple TV. So I'm going to finish watching the game. See you next time.